philosophy. In this series of videos, I will be describing an original philosophy, one that you won't find anywhere else, but it is one that is logical, rigorous and dynamic. Welcome. In the previous videos, and summarising in the previous one, we looked how, at how logical processes can combine with sense data and a process of pattern identification to create a model of the world. And this model of the world can be used to interact with the world through the particular animals or organisms or logical processes, uh, motor output that connect to its arms, wings, legs, mouth, whatever. And it also gets some feedback from its internal organs, which give it direction and motivation in terms of looking towards maximizing pleasure and minimizing pain. In this video, I want to extend that a little bit about how one can progress with creating a model of the world. It's a series of patterns, patterns of patterns built up in a pyramid of patterns. And then one can take what I've just summarized in terms of the logical processor, sense data, pattern creation, motor outputs, senses from, org senses from its organs, and look for a pattern that fits all that data i.e. all that data is input to the pattern creation algorithm or program or logic. And what can it come up with that fits them all together? Well, I suggest that it is a pattern which is about self. It's one that could be labelled me. I am. I exist. Because that incorporates all of the data that I just mentioned. And in this way, the organism or animal or person achieves self-awareness. They become aware of itself. The logical processor has become aware of its own existence. And this is phenomenal and this is wonderful. And I would like to suggest that the experience of that self-awareness of that animal is what gives us consciousness, the awareness of ourselves, and the experience of being alive, and the experience of being, of existing. It's consciousness. The relationship between self-awareness and consciousness is a little bit tenuous. I cannot prove that self-awareness leads to consciousness. No one really can. Consciousness is a very personal experience of self-awareness. Scientists can some degree test for whether animals have self-awareness through mirrors and paint and a whole lot of things like that. And certainly a number of animals certainly do have self-awareness. And we can infer that they also have Consciousness, because that is the experience of self-awareness, it is the experience that we feel as self-aware beings. And this is absolutely wonderful, and it's kind of very special. It, it's it's it what makes our lives so unique. We've come from a fairly material world to an experience of that material world, which is not of itself material. And I would like to note that the emergence of this idea of self-awareness that comes from the theory and the pattern paradigm theory that I have been discussing in previous videos, gives us a good indication that on this philosophical journey of which we are progressing is on the right track. We've taken a few simple assumptions, a bit of logic, and we've arrived at self-awareness. 
And I think that's good indication that we're on the right track. And also make the inference of consciousness, though that's slightly separate, because that is the personal experience of self-awareness. I'd also like to note that um, in the public domain, what you find on the internet or in books of people discussing mind and philosophy, that they suggest that the essence of consciousness is to be found somewhere in the material of the brain or perhaps in the physics of quantum weirdness. But I think they're totally on the wrong track there. What we have shown here is that consciousness comes from, if you like, the software of the logic of awareness, of building up a model of the world. And this theory of consciousness has implications for the domain of artificial intelligence. Some people have postulated that consciousness will simply appear once robots or computers or whatever uh, reach a sufficient speed and memory and size, uh, commensurate with the size of the human brain, and that they will automatically achieve consciousness. Of course, this is entirely illogical and uh, it's just pure speculation. What we have shown here is that Consciousness and self-awareness can only be achieved through the creation of a pyramid of patterns that constitutes a model of the world. And that pyramid of patterns arrives from the basic logic of pattern identification combined with external sense data, combined with physical interaction with the world through motor outputs, arms, legs, feet, etc. And the motivation of pleasure and pain about whether you're being successful in the real world or not. And that creates a complete model of the world. And it is only once that has been achieved that self-awareness or consciousness can be achieved. because once that high level pyramid of patterns has been achieved, it is a fairly natural pattern to create the one of the identification of self and one's own existence within the world. And then you can label it, I am or me or I exist or whatever you like. Whether this would ever be possible with an entirely artificial intelligence or whether anybody would ever want to try to do this or design a computer or create a computer, an artificial entity that can build its own model of the world and to achieve self-awareness and possibly consciousness is, who knows, a moot point and is perhaps one that is best left for future generations. Well, that is all I have for you today. If you have any interesting comments or questions about today's video, then please leave them in the comment section below. And if you would like to continue this journey with me, then please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and ring the bell. Thank you.